Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel and we are gonna be doing a get ready with me right in my bathroom. Uh, forgive me because I totally forgot to shoot an intro to this so I'm doing it here now in my office but we're gonna go into my bathroom and I will show you how we created this very natch look. If you're new here, hello, I'm Tracy. I put up brand new fitness, wellness, and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel and for everyone, click on the bell so you always know when I have a brand new video that goes live. Every product that I use, I will link down below. It's I really, really am passionate about using as much clean beauty products as possible. So if you're looking for some updates to your clean beauty routine or you want to make some swaps, this will be a great video for you. Um, so nothing else to say. Let's go into my bedroom and my bathroom and let's do it. So we haven't done one of these in a long time. I hope that the lighting is good. We are going to get ready with me. Um, I have to shoot some new content for Total Body Transformation. Hello 90s hair clips. No, just kidding. This, this is just me clipping. I clipped, speaking of 90s, I cut a little bit of, you know, I got it cut for fesh. No, I didn't do it myself. Some shorter pieces here. I the journey is long if I like it or not, but well, I did it. Um, so when I get ready, I always just clip back my hair, whether I have these short pieces or not, but now I definitely need them more. So uh, as you may or may not know, in the morning I do not wash my face. Um, I think that's really important to keep your natural skin's oils um, so I don't wash my face in the morning. Um, you know, it's, it works for me. <laughs> like if you have a different kind of skin, then you know, wash your face if you feel like you need to. But I remember a client of mine in Pilates years ago told me, you know, I just try to keep as little water on my face as possible and she had amazing skin and was like a mom of two and really busy and lived in New York City and I was like, I'll just do what you say because she's fantastic. So I'm going to just spray my face with a toner. I always switch them around right now. I'm using this uh, rose water and glycerin. I'll leave everything linked down below. I love this. I've used it for years, kind of on and off. I've got a couple faves. Um, and then we're gonna go into my skincare routine. So I love watching videos of people's skincare routine. I think it's so awesome. But I also think it's very interesting because all of them, I'm like, why? Why so much stuff on your face? So um, you, if you've been following me for any time now, you know that I really don't shift things up a ton. Um, I find what works for me, what works for my skin, always trying to improve. You know, I do like to try new things, but when I find something that really works, I stick with it. And so um, this year, um, and even into early last year, uh, the one product that has really remained the same um, is my herbal face food. Like, I can't rave about this product enough. It is 100% plants, it's not plant-based, um, it's literally 100% plant. So I'm gonna show you my hand. Can you see that? Well, that didn't really work. But <laughs> um, I just use like about a dropper or so full on my skin. I use it morning and night. Um, it is. It does have an aloe base. I'm even. I even put some on my my chest. So you see, I'm kind of liberally putting this all over my face, even under my eyes. I don't do it on my eyelids but I do it underneath my eyes. So I go right underneath the, the eyebrow. It has, I love the scent. I know some people absolutely hate the scent. It gives you like a warming sensation. Um, I definitely get my neck and then, you know, I live in Miami, so we got to get that chest because um, I definitely feel like my chest gets a lot more sun than I would like living here, but I, I like to be outside, you know? like. It's a trade-off, right? For me, I'm like, look, I'm 46 years old. I feel like I look great. I'm, I'm happy with who I am. I want to protect things and keep things, you know, as much as possible. And I want to be outside, like, for sure. I try to wear a hat, but if I'm being really honest, I don't. I always have one in my stroller. I also put it on the backs of my hands as well. So, oops, and broke the dropper. Sad face, I just broke my dropper. It's okay. So don't do what I just did and break your dropper, but I have other droppers from Herbal Face Food. So this, 
It's so sad. I'm just so sad about that. Um, the serum that I am currently using is Serum 2. Um, I started with Serum 1, and then you can like work your way up. Alright, I'm gonna clean up the glass that's now in my sink. Okay, so I cleaned up all the glass that was in my sink. So sad about that, but we'll just keep moving. So here's the thing, when I put the herbal face food on my skin, I like to kind of just let it seep in for, you know, a couple, maybe like a minute or so. Um, you're gonna feel, and just know this, and this means it's working, um, you're gonna feel a warming sensation. It doesn't make my skin get all crazy red or anything like that, but it feels so good. And what I also love about this, which I didn't really expect, was how moisturized my skin feels from using it. Now. That's it, guys. <laughs> That's literally it, uh, with the exception of sunscreen. So what did I use? Three things, not 300. And if you're a busy babe like me, you don't need a you know bajillion step skincare routine to look great. You know, you I, I like a, a spray toner. I just think it wakes you up. It kind of gets the senses awakened. And and skincare is self care, right? So for me, that's like a very self care moment. It's like one of the first things I do in the morning. It's just like reminds me to breathe and just have a nice scent, right? Then I go into my herbal face food. I do that morning and evening. Um, like I said, there's no eye cream. There's nothing. My skin. I wish you could feel it right now. It just feels so moisturized, nurtured. I have that nice warming sensation, and there's also a little bit of natural uh, sunscreen in it as well. But we are not done there. So I absolutely love it. If you haven't tried it already, I don't have the topper to show you here. But this bottle for me, this is the 50 milliliter bottle. Um, it's gonna last me about four months and I use it twice a day. So right now my bottle is like to here. I don't know exactly when I opened this bottle, but you see, I mean, I douse myself in this stuff. I use it on my chest, on my hands. Uh, this is serum two. So, you know, like I said, start with serum one, work your way up. You can also use the cure, um, which is for spot treating. I've talked about that in another video. I can link here, um, but that's really it for my skincare. I also have a discount code for you for herbal face food where you get 20% off of your first order. You definitely want to take advantage of this. This is your skin. You know, if you're going to invest in anything, don't spend so much money on makeup. Spend more money on your skincare, even on facial treatments and things like that. Like if you love getting Botox or filler or, you know, doing, um, you know, uh, peels or whatever. The truth of the matter is if your skin itself is not looking good, none of that's going to really matter. So, you know, it really starts with your skincare. But again, keeping it simple is what I have found really works the best for me. So definitely try it out. I will leave a discount code linked down below in the description box. Uh, try it. It's unlike any other product I've ever used and I'm completely obsessed with it. Okay, sunscreen next. So I just started using this. This is the Goop Glow Screen. I love it. It definitely gives you a glowy look. So I just use about, I don't know, like a dime-ish size on the back of my hand. Um, whoops. And it really is a glow. I mean, it's, it's nice. When I first tried it, I'll be totally honest, I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this. But it does make you look really beautiful and like filtered and like you have some light on you. So I really like that. Then I'm gonna go in with my uh, Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. I've been using this for years. I know, snooze fast. So, um, so this, the, the glow screen is an SPF 40. The Deep Bronzy also is like a pollution um, protectant. I don't know what you would call that. What I love about the Deep Bronzy is that I can choose how brown, how bronze I would like to be or not, you know, and the thing is like my chest, like I was saying earlier, gets a little bit more sun than I would even really like, so I can go pretty liberal on this and I just mix it up. So you're just kind of mixing it together in the back of your hand here. And I just slap her on my face. A little slap a doodle. Um, the cool thing is too that, you know, I'm gonna be shooting content today and this is exactly the makeup I would do in real life. Like years ago, I used to do like camera makeup and then like real life makeup. And I just don't do that anymore, um, which I love because it just makes life easier, okay? This is, I mean, honestly, if you literally just do your herbal face food and this, you're probably good. 
you know, if you wanted like a supernatural, just a little teensy bit of coverage and protection, that would be all you need to do. You see how I'm getting it into my jawline and down into my neck as well. Um, so this also, I mean, this combination, it's really, really moisturizing. It feels really good. You know, my skin is already treated. Now, the one thing I will tell you about the glow screen that I, I don't love, you know, I'm just cleaning my hands off because here in the water here. Um, it's because it's really dewy. Hang on, I need a tissue. Um, I have to be really careful with getting mascara, you know, like running. So I try to not get the glow screen too much underneath my eyes. Otherwise, I'll tend to, um, you know, get running mascara, which I mean, nobody wants running mascara, right? Um, I swear I have some new products. You're probably like, gosh, your videos are so boring. But I do this because, it, number one, I love these kinds of videos to catch up with you guys. And also, you know, not everyone's gonna go out and get brand new makeup every time they wanna put on their face. Unless you're like a makeup artist, like don't waste your money on that, like it's just silly. So this is, look, see how much I use this? You can see how, so this is my RMS, what is it called? Uncover Up uh, in shade 11 for me. I love this product, it is uber, uber natural. And the other reason why I love it is because you cannot F it up. Say it with me, you cannot F it up. Like I could literally put this on in the dark <laughs> and it'll look great because it's just, it blends like effortlessly. Do not use a brush with this. Please just use clean fingers. I use it just in the inner corner of my eye here to just brighten things up a little bit. And then I do the outer corner like this. So if you think about it, it's like you're going whoop, like an angle like this and an angle like that, okay? Avoid all the under eye stuff if you're like me and you're way over 40 and you want to look young and dewy and healthy. A face full of makeup is not gonna give you that look. We want to see skin. It's okay to have a pore. I know that like Instagram makes everyone look like they don't have skin and pores, but like newsflash, we are all human beings and everybody has them. So, you know, live your life. I picked a pimple the other day. It was more like a blackhead, so it wasn't so bad, but don't do that, <laughs> okay? I have just like a tiny little bit of a, a pigment here, which has actually gotten a lot, lot better. Um, since using the cure that I was talking about from Herbal Face Food, but it's still there just a tiny bit, so I use that. Um, that's it. Like, I'm very grateful. I don't really have any nipples to cover up. Um, I don't have like a lot of discoloration on my face, thank goodness, so I'm, I'm just feeling grateful. Okay, this is my Honest Beauty, what is this called? Invisible Blurring Powder. Also, I've used this for quite some time. Uh, it's weird, it smells like cake, <laughs> but it does the trick, you know, for me, powder is like, you know, it just, the only things I powder are where I put the concealer, around my nose, under, you know, my eyes, in the middle here is where I tend to get a little bit shinier than I would like, I do around my chin, and then on that little spot. Since using the glow screen, at the very, very end, I will do just a tiny little dust underneath my eyes. You don't want to put a ton of powder ever, ever underneath your eyes, because that is the recipe for looking old as a hill. Um, and then I always just everything, I like to use clean hands and just kind of tap on my, my face here, just to make sure everything is blended in. Uh, then I go in with bronzer next. I can't believe this, but I am back on the butter bronzer. This is from Physicians Formula. I used this like nine million years ago. I would give this like a seven. It's not my favorite bronzer I've ever used, um, but I was in a pinch, I was out, I didn't feel like going to Sephora, and I went to a CVS. <laughs> uh, I was out, and I, I was literally out. I couldn't even wait for Amazon, so. Uh, what I love about this, I mean, the color is really natural. I wish it was a little bit deeper for me, just a tiny bit more. So it's a very, like, if you're very, very fair skin, this is a great bronzer for you. I think I liked it better when I lived in New York, which just means, unfortunately, the sun is getting to me here in my jammy. Um, but yeah, I just, so you're kind of, you know, the rule here when you're doing bronzer is where the sun would hit. So forehead around here right? Cheekbones high. Don't go low because then you're going to look like you're dragging your face down. So really high. 
And then I do like, you know, around the chin here, like this, giving you a little bit of a jaw line. And then I just drag it down a little bit too. And that's pretty much it. If I'm feeling extra, I'll put a little bit like imperfectly on my eyelids like this, which is totally fine, okay? Just FYI, they're painting something like in my closet, so you might hear Spanish, but that's fine, this is just life, okay? Eyebrows are coming next. I swear this is not sponsored by Honest Beauty, but I have been using a lot of their products lately and I really like them. So this is their eyebrow pencil in the color taupe. Um, I like that it has a spoolie. So I brush my brows down first. Okay, so brush them down and I'll tell you why in a sec. And then I focus on the top of the arch. Why do you do that, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Tis because um, we, everything that we do, especially at this point in our lives, right, over 40, is we wanna lift everything. So if I were to really focus underneath, then it might drag my brow down a little bit and that is like the last thing that I want. So I do that and then I brush it up when I'm done, okay? And that's pretty much all she needs. I do do, oh, you'll see in a second, some brow gel and then I do the same on the other side. My friend Sarani gives me lip because she's like, you never sharpen your pencils enough. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Sarani. Um, so this is just on the top of the arch. She probably won't watch this video, so she won't know that I just said that. But if she does, she knows I love her. Okay, so then just brush it up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, good enough, right? It's <laughs> like basically my makeup technique is good enough, all right? Then I'm gonna use, this is an Ilia, um, also a clean brand. This is a, um, a brow gel. I like this product because, let me see if I can show you. There's two, can you see this? No, hang on. There are two sides to the brush, so there's a short side and a longer side. I guess the philosophy is, you know, how much coverage you want, how much uh, intensity you want. I, you know, I can't quite tell. I usually just use the shorter side, um, which I can't tell if that's more coverage or less coverage, but you know. Ilya is a great brand, a nice clean brand, and pretty much everything that I've used, with the exception of my mascara, uh, is clean. Okay, so that's that. Eyebrows done. Yes, we love that. Then I curl my lashes next. I like to do my mascara first because otherwise it gets all over my face. So yeah, I mean, we are thick in the summer now and I don't know, I didn't travel much this summer, which is a bit of a bummer because even before, you know, the pandemic, I um, didn't travel a lot because it was like, you know, I was gonna give birth and then it was a pandemic, and then this year. So I really am feeling a little um, bummed out, to be totally honest about that. But like, I get it. It's, it's temporary, all things are temporary. Okay, this mascara that I'm using, not clean. Uh, Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational. Say that three times fast. Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, it's good, I like it. It, it. I like it, it's waterproof, it stays on for a long time. It gives me good lift. I have tried a bajillion clean brands, I don't know. Uh, I do like the Honest one, but again, because I live in Miami, I often am at the beach, we have a pool at my home, you know, so it's like, I just want something that's gonna be really waterproof and stay on all day and like I can go for a swim and it's not gonna end up like all over my face. And this one kind of works for that. Um, again, if you've got a really good waterproof, clean brand mascara, please let me know. One thing I will tell you about this mascara is I do not put this on my lower lashes. I did it like the first couple times I wore it and I looked like a freaking raccoon. And also, I was out to dinner with a friend and she didn't say anything. And I was like, are you my real friend? Because I'm the kind of friend that's like, girl, you got something in your teeth. Or girl, you got a little boogie sticking out or whatever. Like, if we're real friends, you gotta tell me that. Like, that's the rule. I think that's a real rule for girls. Anyway, I just lift my lid a little bit so I can get underneath of the real face and then pull it up. 
So yeah, I mean, it's August, here we are. My daughter is starting school, a little preschool, which is insanity. Um, very soon, this month, so that's kind of like a major milestone and also like a kind of mommy. <laughs> I don't even know, I, I haven't even processed how I feel about it. I'm really excited for her though because she's extremely extroverted and, um, you know, I want her to play with other kids and I just know that she's gonna really thrive. So, I'm, I'm quite excited for her to get started. Okay, so that's my mascara. My mascara is on. It is on, it is on, it is on. Okay, another product I've been using forever and it's not looking really cute here is my Josie Moran Vibrancy Palette. Not the easiest to find these days, but I'll do my best to link it for you. Um, so there's like, I mean, gross, I know, but this is real life, right? So this is the highlight one that I use the most. It's incredible. Probably the best highlighter I've ever used in my life. This is a blush, I don't use it that often. This is a bronze, but also great for eyeshadow. And this is a pinky color. I think for today, I'm gonna do the pink color. It's, you know, it's funny, I wasn't using that often. I was only using the bronze and I'm doing it all over my lid and into my crease. Um, I wasn't using this pinky color and then I started using it specifically for video and I was like, it looks really great on video because it's very, very natural so it kind of gives you a very youthful look. So, hot tip here. You are looking to look, you know, a little bit younger, you want to look a little bit more fresh face and dewy. Do you get what we're saying here? Less is so much more. It really, really is. I can't stress it enough, okay? So I just did like a little wash of that all over and then I always just kind of check, make sure that like I didn't, can't really mess this up again. And you don't even need to use a brush, but I'm just getting fancy today. And then I'm gonna use that exact same color, the pink one, the light pink here, underneath um, my eyes. So just a little bit, I'm just using a different brush here. It's more of a, like almost a square top brush. And I'm just going over the, you know, on my outer lashes. No lower mascara because like I said, that mascara I've been using, which I quite like, um, but I don't like that it gets all over my, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Under eyes, okay. <laughs> you wanna see something sad? <laughs> Didn't really think this through today, but whatever. I do have new products, I swear. Um, this is my eyeliner pencil. I need another one. It is from Eco Bella. it's bronze. I love this. I do this in my waterline. So waterline, top, and bottom. This this is it's also a clean brand. Um, such a great color because it gives you a little bit like of a smoky finished look. I don't know if you can see the difference between my eyes, but it also reflects the light, which is again another hot tip. You know, you want to look younger. You want light. You want light reflecting. You want your skin to be glowing. You want you know just little subtle. You know not like. Shh, you know, strong, strong highlight that everyone's like, great highlighter. Um, so this is like a big, big key. So I love this pencil if you haven't tried it. And it, it is great um, on the top, on the lashes, which I used to do all the time. Also another like you can't really mess it up thing, but um, there's a new technique I've been doing. I'm thirsty. Another hot tip, hydrate yourself, all right? So, we're gonna do my liner, which is actually not liner at all, which is my mascara. So I'm gonna use my mascara as liquid eyeliner. So you take an angled brush, okay? Just like a little angled brush. Can you see the angle of the brush? Okay. A brush like that. And what you wanna do is you put a little bit of the mascara on the angle brush, okay? And then, this is key, underneath your eye, you see where your eye, like how it goes up? Basically, to make the perfect kind of slightly subtle wing, 
you want that line to continue, okay? So all I do is I just, can you see this? I hope you can. Is I just take the angled brush and I just look at where my lower lash is and I kind of keep it going. And now I know it might look crazy right now, right? Like, here, I'll show you. Like that looks kind of weird, right? Can you see? But then we draw like a little triangle. So then I only do about like the, the outer third of my lash. And it gives you this nice finish, a slight little flick, you know, and it works and it looks great. And it stays on forever because it's mascara, which is also really cool. You can hear child screaming. Does that happen to you too? Like, I, I like get those like phantom cries where I think I hear my baby crying, but she's not. Okay, so same thing on the other side. So we just go underneath and we go whoop, where it was going. Okay, and then we just kind of make a little triangle, outer third. I find this is just so much easier than dealing with liquid liner. It's subtle, but it gives you a finish. Like, I look done, right? Which is a good thing, we want that. We want it to look like you try a little bit, um, but not like you try too hard, okay? So then we're gonna go into blush, and again, Honest Beauty. Um, this is Peony Pink Cream Blush. I love a good, I love a good cream blush. Uh, why, you ask? Again, creamy means dewy, means youthful, means like, accenting what we want to accent, right? So this is like a great color. It's so like pink and happy. Um, and so I just do it really high, kind of just over where I just bronze, right? On the cheekbones, okay? Nice and high, and then also get your nose, and then just rub her in. It took me a little bit. The consistency of this, I will say, it's a little, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not the easiest blending at first. Like it's got a little bit more oomph to it than I was used to. I don't know. I was using all my um, nude sticks, also a great cream product. Um, and that is a lot easier. Like I feel like you just very, very lightly blend it and it blends perfectly. This, I feel like it, it takes a little bit more effort, but you know, um, I love the color. It's very, very fresh. It gives you a nice little pop. Okay, um, so that is that part of it. Then we're gonna go into some highlights. So I'm gonna use a tiny little brush in that tiny little bit of highlight that I actually have left. I have to get into one of these palettes. And I do the inner corner of my eye. Key for looking awake. My daughter woke up at like 2.30 in the morning last night. Not for very long, but then I, of course, could not fall back asleep. That was not fun. And then I use also my finger and I do my cheekbones. And because this is a nice cream product that blends so perfectly, you don't have to worry about looking crazy. Um, you know, the only tip I would say here, another hot tip, is to, um, and then I do the bridge of my nose. And then sometimes I'm feeling fancy. I'll just do the top of my lip here. Um, always check your makeup in natural light too. Like that's key. So I have a window over here to the side. So I'm gonna check it. Okay, we're almost there. So now I'm gonna do um, some lips. I think for now I want to just. It's, I'm gonna be shooting a workout, so I want to stay really natural. But you know, again, just like natural, but like finished. So this is a lipstick and a lip liner by Elf or ELF. I don't know which we call it, but um, Elf and Jenna Atkin, it's a collaboration, and I love that it has both products, and the color is self-made pink. So, gone with the liner bit first. Overline your lips, why would you not overline your lips? Like, yeah. Okay, so here is a hot tip. The middle part of your lip, overline as much as you want, right? You don't get crazy, but you do want to overline it. You don't want to overline here on the outer corners. Why? It drags your face down, which again, everything is about lifting, lifting, like glowy lifting. And then you just follow your regular lip line on the, the corners. So I just kind of do like a weird little smile. And 
And then we do the same on the top. So the top, again, overline if you want the top, but not the outer corners. You hear the thunder? <laughs> So I overline there and then I'm just going to follow the inner corners. Then I like to fill it in, not all the way, but like a bit of the way. Mostly I just leave like the little center part bare. Uh, it's a very 90s look, which is, you know, all the rage, which is great because a lot of practice in the 90s. Okay, then we're gonna use the lipstick. It's also like a matte, and it's a little bit lighter than the liner, which I like. So we fill her in. It's a great color, it's like your lips feel better. She's really gone, all I say. See? Like, she's cute, she's good. You could stop there if you wanted to, but because I'm gonna shoot a video and I'm looking, you know, wanting to feel a little extra, I wanna look cute for my tribe, um, I'm gonna highlight my body a little bit. Cause like, why not? She's, she's so healthy and pretty. So this is such a great place to highlight, is your collarbones and a little bit on your shoulders. So I have my RMS Living Luminizer. Um, again, it's a very, very clean product. And I just put it on my collarbones. Okay, you wanna make sure you don't have harsh edges, so don't like do a line and then leave it at that. Like, do a line and then rub it in the line. Um, and why do we do this? Well, it just reflects the light. Do you see that? How it just looks like, ooh, she's got a little glow. Now, I'm gonna be sweating in a couple minutes, so do I really need to do this? And then I'm just gonna do a little bit on the top of my shoulders. Do I need to do this? No. But, you know. Listen, tribe, I like to pull out the stops for y'all. I like to make you feel good. Oh, I got a sunburn today. I was at the pool swimming with my daughter, took a nice long walk, and I got an odd little burn by my armpit. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like a girl can't have too much highlight. Well, she can't actually take that back. But you see how it's just reflecting the light a little bit? It's the little things, right? All right, let's take out the hair. Like I said, I just got this haircut. The jury is out if I like it or not, I don't know. Um, but I got this new hair product. I have not tried it much before, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. And if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram, because I share a lot of like, my opinions on things and products that I love and all the good stuff there, so I will leave that linked here. But this is by the brand Inner Sense, and it's Quiet Calm Curl Control. It smells so good. It's got like this orangey smell and um, it feels like kind of like a leave-in conditioner for your hair. You can also put it on wet, which I've not tried it wet, but mm, it's got a really nice orangey smell. And I feel like, especially here, you know, it's summertime, right? I'm in an extremely humid climate. So I'm always trying to just add moisture to my hair. Um, and make sure that it's not gonna frizz out like crazy. So I like how this feels. Uh, it makes my hair feel healthy. Um, it doesn't give any crispiness at all. And it's great for like the little flyaways and such. So there you have it. That's, that's it done. I hope this lighting was okay for you guys. I hope you can see what I'm doing. It's hard in the bathroom, but I'm doing my best. So this is the final look with natural lighting. You know, I just have that window right here. I just turned my body. Um, but this is basically, this is how I do my makeup if I had something to do for every day. Like very, very easy. You know, it only took time because I was talking you through it. But generally speaking, this really doesn't take me that long. Um, if I was just doing something simple, I might, you know, skip the eyeliner and maybe even skip the lipstick. Um, there's an honest product that I love that's like a lip balm with color and it's awesome for just like kind of running around. It's really nourishing. So I'll leave that link down below as well. Um, but really, it's very simple. It's, you know, focusing on glow, 
um, a little bit of highlighter and it really takes me about like 15 minutes so it's, it's quite quite easy so like I said I will leave all the products linked down below don't forget if you want to check out herbal face food or if you need some more herbal face food uh, click on the link down below for it and you can get 20% off of your first order and I love hearing from you guys so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment down below let me know if you've got number one a clean mascara I'm still on the hunt waterproof clean mascara I want lift I want volume I want to look like I have on mascara like I want to see lashes because mine are very straight and very light um, so please help <laughs> help your girl and uh, that's what I've got for you today you are awesome you're amazing and I love you so much Mwah. Thank you.